hoists it forward. Yoshida gets into the right position to intercept. Gets it back. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Magatomo. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Well, the crowd aren't happy. They wanted a shot and it didn't arrive. And the half-time whistle goes. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. If you review the first half. Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start. And if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. It's the start of the second half. What first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we hoped lots of effort but a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical pin into the middle It's a soccer. Played into space out wide. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Made sure that that won't get through. Saka. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. And now they can launch a counter. Hasri. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal saving. Good clearance and very necessary. Away from immediate danger. approach good run ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending crowd appreciates good football all around there and we're still waiting for a goal to report here pops it in gently tries to get it clear It's been taken short, lofted into the middle. And he won't reach that. Japan keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it.
60 minutes played. It is still anyone's game. Nil-nil. Rashida. Shubasaki. Goes long. A buccaneering run from the defender. Shoots! Sarko did well there. He was on to it in a trice. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top notch. Tunisia have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Japan took the lead. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? And here's Kasri. Kasri really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Tomo. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. On Saturday, gets wrestled off the ball. That's a foul. A simple decision for the referee. This is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Oh, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And here's the chance to counter. It's a goal. Oh, me! It's a goal! Tunisia are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Tunisia grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you'll take back again. Saka. Hoists it forward. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. up to 75 minutes Saka oh, that had to be more accurate who's ball who's going to get that a really good feat yeah that's top defending in preventing him turning which can open up many possibilities 
Little doubt, that is a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Out towards the flank. Concentration levels are very good and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Tries to get it forward quickly. Saka. And it's played forward. Sleety. Usakni. Finds himself eased off the ball. Shibasaki. And here's Osako. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Yoshida with the clearance. Tunisia merit full marks for their... Going for goal! And in it goes! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! That was easy, almost too easy. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Tunisia go into the lead. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Sleety. Well, if something's got to happen, it's going to have to happen now. They need something heroic now or a lucky break or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. Gets into a dangerous position. Battles to win it back. And here's Osako. Japan need to give it everything they have. Kitchen sink included. Forward it goes. Yoshida positions himself well and cuts it out. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Kasri desperately wants to get on the end of this. Nagatomo hoists it forward. And here's Osako. It's Osako! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worth the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business now.
So all square with almost no time remaining. Two minutes to be added on. There's only one word for this. It, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Looking to win it with time against them. Still going. Where to next? Lovely bit of skill. Chance for a cross, maybe now or never. And he's going long. And out to safety. The final whistle and confirmation we are headed for penalties. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. So we've gone the full distance here, nothing definitive, and we will be back shortly for a penalty shootout.